everybody, welcome back to my channel, unless of course you're new here, in which case, hi, hello, my name is Ashley, and welcome to my random little corner of the internet. As you can tell from today's title, we will be unboxing June's Lit Toy Crate. It did arrive today, and I have absolutely no patience or willpower, and so I have to film as soon as it gets here. I am super excited about this month's themes. It's going to be Mythical Gods, which means that I know that it has some Percy Jackson stuff and something from Strange the Dreamer, and so I'm super excited. If you don't know what Lit Joy Crate is, Lit Joy Crate is, it is a monthly subscription box that has a couple of different tiers as far as whether you just want the items or if you just want the book that comes in here, but I get both. Um, I, I pay for it with my own money. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Um, but I think that's all that I need to do that. So let's just get into it. All right, I'm going to give you guys, hopefully, maybe a little. I can't see it. Do you see anything good? Oh, okay. So right here on top, we have our cheat sheet that says Mythical Gods. I'm not going to look in it because that's going to be all of um, everything that's in the box. And we don't want any spoilers. And of course we have this, yeah, the wormies. Ooh, okay. Oh, lots of little goodies. Okay, let's open this one first. It's a, it's a blank box. It's a box. Okay, a little dish of some kind. Ooh, but this is, I bet that's what this is. This is the, um, the quarterly teacup, but it's, Got little Poseidon symbol in there. So I bet that this is the teacup that goes with it. It was a little late being sent out because they said that the teacup, the teacup got uh, lost in the ocean somewhere in shipping. Um, oh, yes. Look at that. That is so cool. Stop focusing on me. Stop focusing on me. There we go. So we got Percy. That is so cute. And it's a little bigger than the last one we got. Um, the last one we got, I think, was in March, and we got the Lord of the Rings one. So this one is really, really cute. All right, put that there. Put these boxes out of the way. All right, next up is some washi tape. And it looks like, I can't quite tell. Yeah, no, this is, this is from the book Circe. Which I have not read yet, but I assume is about the goddess Cersei. Alrighty, next up is, it says, The Ancient Book of Norse Mythology, Legend of the Valkyrie. But it's a little booklet. I wonder if it's actually a book, like an informational booklet, or if it's like a notebook or something. Let's open up and see. It is, it is a notebook, so... Notebooks are always, always nice. But there's this nice little art print on the inside. And I'm sure it'll tell us more in the... That's really nice. It's got this, I guess, this silver foiling, but with like a emerald green background. It's really nice. The nice little Valkyrie on the front. It's the same on the back. All right. Uh, oh my goodness. This is cute. Oh, <laughs> it's a cutting board, but it has the muses from Hercules on it. <laughs> that is so cute. See, this is one of those things though that I don't want to, like, even though it's such a useful product, like, I mean, I need a cutting board. Why not? I don't ever want to use it. I don't ever want to, or maybe it's like a charcuterie board. Whatever, like a cheese board, whatever, you place it out. Still, I don't want, and then and the light keeps catching on my, uh, on the plastic. But, like, I don't ever want to use it. It's just going to be pretty, because then I don't want to cover them up and mess them up. But it is, it is laser engraved, so it's not like I would, by putting it on there, would, like, rub them off or anything. So cute. So cute. Alrighty. Okay, next up. It's some chapstick, and it says the goddess of dreams, so that would be our um, Strange the Dreamer. So it says goddess of dreams. Like, stop focusing. I'm not a, I'm not a beauty guru here. I can't, uh, there we go. Kind 
kind of. So it says Goddess of Dreams, and it's citrus. So let's pop this open and see. Ooh, yeah, that smells real good. And it, it has, like, that taste. You know how, like, sometimes it's okay to lick it, and sometimes it's not. It tastes citrusy. Probably says don't eat it somewhere, but oh well. Alrighty. Let's see. If it, this is the book, but let's make sure there's nothing underneath it. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's something I'll talk about in a second. Alrighty. So, okay, we have two. Ooh. We have two art prints. Oh, okay. So this one's not an art print that goes with the book, but holy gold foiling. This is talking about the fact that Lit Joy Crate now has um, the romantic collection where they have three um, classic books that they are releasing with new Lit Joy Crate edition covers. Um, I know that Pride and Precious is, is now available. Um, as well as Withering Heights will be available in March of next year, and then Jane Eyre will be available in September of next year. But, oh, that is beautiful. All right. And then the art print that does go with the book are our nice ladies here with a letter from the author on the back. And then our... Never, I don't think I even paid attention any spoilers as to far as who the tarot cards were this not tarot cards playing cards were this time and I could not tell you I could not tell you who these lovely gentlemen are the cheat sheet cheat sheet will when I get there but we have the ten of clubs and the jack of clubs if you had started collecting them in August of 2019 and then collect them until they're done um, you will get a full deck of cards um, they are available most of the time if they still have them in the Let Joy Crate store. So there are a few that I'm going to have to go back and get because I do want the whole deck. That would be a pretty cool deck. All right, the last item in my box before we get to the book. Um, last month, we had gotten these stickers and the ones that I opened for my box literally just said the Let Joy Crate on the front. And apparently they weren't supposed to. They are Ninth House inspired, but they're supposed to be book plates. And they were supposed to say, from the house of, and then obviously you write your name in there. And the customer service over at Lit Joy Crate is phenomenal. All I did was message them and say, hey guys, is this, like, what is, I don't understand. Like, what happened? Is this, was some people supposed to get one and some people supposed to get the other? And they were like, no, it was a mistake that was made and don't you fret. We'll send it to you with your next box, and everything will be fixed, and they did. So now I have some really cool Ninth House book plates. Alrighty, that is everything in the box, so let's open the book. Let me make sure I open it the right direction. Okay, here we go. Ooh. It's called The Sisters of Song and, or Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. Like, look at that. That is pretty. It's a very matte, like it's a matte um, coloring, so no shinies this time. But it's just that that background is just really eye catching. And then we have our reversible dust jacket with some shadow creatures, or maybe, or maybe those are wolves. Kind of looks shadowy, but you know. Some snowy wolves. And the naked book on its own is this really pretty emerald color with some. Alrighty, and then it is signed by Miss Ross right here and some gold metallic Sharpie. And then we turn the page and there is our art print again. Um, let me find the, the jacket so I can read you the All right. Okay. It says, after eight long years, fantasy names are always a, a kicker for me. It says, after eight long years, Evidneen Evid Evid will finally be reunited with her older sister, Halcyon. While Eva, see, we, we shorten for, for names. All right. While Eva has been tending their family's olive grove, Halcyon has been serving in the Queen's army. 
But when Halcyon appears a day early, drenched and exhausted, Eve knows something is terribly wrong. Halcyon is on the run, hunted by her commander, and charged with a terrible crime. Though Halcyon's life is spared during her trial, the punishment is heavy. Five years working in the quarry, five years imprisoned, and five years serving the house she was wrong, or she has wronged. Suspicion of the commander and, Halcy and of Halcyon's silence on her crime, Eva volunteers to serve his house in Halcyon's steed. If there's a way to absolve her sister, she'll find it there. And as Halcyon begins her own sentence, she quickly learns that there are fates worse than death. Acclaimed author Rebecca Rose brilliantly concedes a story set in a richly drawn ancient world filled with danger, magic, and a fierce and unbreakable bond between sisters. Yes. Yeah. All right. So there we have Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. All righty. And now we are going to go ahead and break into our cheat sheet so we can learn everything about what we have here. So we open and we have the stuff about the author and the illustrator for the art print and the dust jacket. Oh, wait, no, that's the illustrator. Oh, that's the illustrator for the dust jacket. It's the illustrator for the art print. And then this is our stuff from the author. Alrighty, so we do have our Percy Jackson mini teacups. Since your teacup collection is missing a vital fandom, get ready to add everyone's favorite demigod, Percy Jackson. We love the fusion of traditional mythology with new characters and adventures in the Percy Jackson series. Just like we fell hard for the mix of traditional classical setting with new mythical gods and magic, in Sisters of Sword and Song, the Lit Joy Collector's teacup is dishwasher and microwave safe. Alrighty, and then it is our Circe washi tape. It says, let's join the worshippers of ancient Greece and Rome as they hearken to the mythical gods and goddesses. As we dive into the pages of Sisters of Sword and Song, we are reminded of how we felt reading Circe, a welcoming back to the magical world of the gods. The iconic art style of the ancient Greece appears on the cover of Circe, and we love the reminder of that Grecian setting within both Circe and the Sisters of Sword and Song. This gorgeous, gorgeous washi tape mimics that classical artwork style and will bring that Hellenic style into your journals, planners, and projects. Alrighty, and then next up is our Strange the Dreamer-inspired Goddess of Dreams chapstick with a quote from Strange the Dreamer that says, She was like springtime distilled into a person. No library of mythical gods and goddesses would be complete without mention of Sari and her siblings, the orphan god spawn of Weep. Trapped in their citadel high above the forgotten city, Sari... Sarah, I've never been able to say her name, but, you know, uh, visits the world only through the dreams of cities of the city's inhabitants, and longs for the day she can experience the beauty and flavors and life of the city below. The citrus chapstick is as sweet as the goddess of dreams herself. It says, made from all-natural premium beeswax lip moisturizer in the USA. So, and then now we have our Hercules cutting board. It says, Hercules, honey, you mean Hunkules. If you, like us, endlessly watched your VHS copy of, D of Disney's Hercules in the 90s, you'll recognize these fabulous muses. These babes narrated the story of Hercules, son of Zeus, and one of the most well-known gods of Greek mythology. Uh, may these lovely muses inspire one delicious dish after another in your kitchen. This is made from bamboo and dishwasher safe, but hand wash is recommended. And it does say that each cutting board will have vari variation in the wood grain and the burnt design because it is... A real it is real wood so I mean you can't predict what the tree looks like so alrighty okay yeah see I didn't I didn't catch that I thought maybe and I've already lost them all right and so the next ones are and I, I I don't know why I didn't catch it but okay it's not really how I pictured them I guess because after seeing the movie it, it they're not like this but uh this is from the Hunger Games so we have Gale and we have Finnick um, and it says, presenting the final two cards in the Litjoy Hunger Kate Trading Hunger Games trading card set, Finnick and Gale. So, you know, Finnick from, what was it, um, four or something, where the water was? And then Gale in his army attire. Alrighty. And then we have our Legend of the Valkyrie notebook. It says, we love the strength and courage displayed by... Evidin and Halcyon from Sisters of Sword and Song and immediately link them to the Valkyrie. Badass female warriors of Norse, old, Norse, yeah, old Norse mythology. Like Valkyrie, Evidin and Halcyon are bold, bright, and fearless. 
who couldn't use a little of that intrepid Valkyrie spirit in their lives. This notebook features the beautiful artwork of Nara Feather with silver foil detailing on the front and back covers, and we wanted it to feel like your very own copy of an ancient Norse mythology textbook. Closer look, there's also artwork featured on the inside of the front cover. But it doesn't really say who it is, which makes me sad. So, I mean, I guess it's just a Valkyrie. Um, it's really cool. And who doesn't love a good notebook? And I have talked about in previous videos how every month they do have um, add-ons where you get free shipping, but you still pay to have it added to your box. And usually I'm like, I already pay for the box. Do I really want the add-on? It's got to be something really good to, to hook me. And this month there was, but also, um, when you purchase things from Lit Joy Crate, you get, um, points and I use my points to order it. So I didn't pay quite as much as the listing price and you're not gonna be able to see it in this tiny thing, but it's this huge round beach towel, but it is a Artemis Katniss crossover. And so we have Katniss Everdeen, but she's wearing a toga. And she's got her Mockingjay pin here. Yeah, it's just because, you know, Artemis is known for her archery and everything like that. So how better to connect that? And she is the god. And, and it's just, it's, but it's not only that it's gorgeous. Our daughter's name is also Artemis. And so I couldn't pass it up. Alrighty, guys, and so that's going to be the end of this Lit Joy Crate box. i got to say that my favorite is probably this cutting board. It's just so cute. But, alrighty, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button as well as that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're always notified every time that I upload a video. And until next time, bye!